increase is starting tonight, but we have a price to pay. The divine increase is coming tonight, but there are pillars of that divine increase. I come to point number three now. Point number three, our prayer and preparation for distributive increase. I'm coming back again to Ezekiel chapter 34. Ezekiel chapter 34, I'm reading from verse 26 again, and I will make them and the places round about my heel a blessing. And I will cause the shower to come down in a season. This is your season of increase. Your season of blessing. Your season of power and strength. There shall be showers of blessing. The rain falls for everyone. And the rain is going to fall and it's going to touch your house. It's going to touch your family. And the tree of the field shall yield her fruit. And the earth shall yield her increase. And they shall be safe in the land. You will be safe in the land. Protected in the land. And shall know that I am the Lord when I have broken the bands of their yoke. Every yoke in your life, every hindrance in your life, broken tonight in Jesus' name. And deliver them out of the hand of those that serve themselves of them. You will not remain a slave to anything. Slave to hard drugs, cancelled. Slavery to men or women cancelled. Slavery to whatever power that held you back until this day. You are delivered in Jesus' name. Now, chapter 36, we're looking at chapter 36, and I'm looking at verse 11. This is yours. I said, This is yours. Instead of just amen, say, This is mine. And I will multiply upon you man and beast, amen. And they shall increase, and they shall increase. Your supporters will increase. And those who are going to push you up, lift you up, they will increase in Jesus' name. And bring fruit, and I will settle you. And I will settle you. Confusion is gone. It says, I will settle you after your old estate. I will do. Heaven says, He will do. The Almighty God says, He will do. Heaven says, He will do better unto you than at your beginnings. And you shall know that I am the Lord. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. That same chapter where God said, I will. I will, I will. Look at this. Verse 37. Verse 37. Thus says the Lord God, I will yet for this be inquired of by the house of Israel to do it for them. You know, some people, the attitude they have is God said He will do it. Okay, at His own time, it will be done. If any wind blows and blows their sheds down, they say God's will be done. If anything comes upon them and all the increase they were expecting, all the increase is not coming, they say, well, he is almighty. Whatever he wants to do, whatever he doesn't want to do, they don't pray and they don't understand that Satan may be after them wanting to cancel what God has promised them. When you pray tonight, you will knock the hand of Satan away from your life. That's why he says in verse 37, Thus says the Lord God, I will yet for this be inquired up by the house of Israel to do it for them. I will, I will, I will increase them with men like a flock. He said, I will do it, I will do it, but tonight every prayer you pray will be answered. Pray, pray, and God will answer. But you know, I went to school, and uh, you know, there was some boy in our school, very sharp, very intelligent, and very talented. And he was a science, uh, you know, student. And I, when all the rest of people be reading, he'll, 
you know he knew what to play guitar he'll be playing guitar and praise praise the lord wonderful god and wonderful wonderful songs and those of us who are reading and then sometimes we'll challenge him and say ah and so and so i don't want to mention his name uh, why are you not he said god has promised me i'm going to make it i'm going to make it well we're going to study and then when you are coming back he's still playing the guitar by the side of the road uh, over there uh, you are in university and then eventually uh, they were took exam guess what brilliant student great student he failed was that the fault of god whatever you sow you reap if you sow nothing you reap nothing if you sow corn, you reap corn. If you sow rice, you reap. If you sow idleness, you reap failure. You will not sow idleness. It's good to pray, but you know what the Lord is telling us? Pray and plan. Pray and plan. You have to plan. He who fails to plan, plans to fail. You will plan. Yeah. I said you will plan. Yeah. What does that mean? You ask yourself, where am I going? What increase am I expecting? What destination am I expecting? I spot out, I locate, I identify that destiny, that destination. What road will take me there? That's planning. And what avenues or means do I have that will take me there? A friend, a neighbor, a counselor, a helper who can help me. I know where I'm going and then they all come to support me. I'm planning. How am I going to make use of them? When do I start? How do I move on? You pray and you plan. We're looking at Proverbs chapter 24. And I'm reading from verse 27. Proverbs chapter 24, verse 27. Look at this, look at this. It says in verse 27, Prepare thy work without, and make it feed for thyself in the field. Afterward, build thine house do the planning do the planning and then after that build number two you pray and you plant look at look at a farmer he wants increase and then he got all those promises he says praise the lord i'm going to increase i had the pastor say you come back next time you're going to have your testimony and then he's a farmer he plants nothing and he says the pastor said and the pastor prayed everything is going to be all right and then when the other farmers are reaping their crops the man has nothing and he said the pastor told me a lie did i tell him a lie no. the word of god is true but the man did not plant you pray and you plant tell me you pray and your plant we're looking at john we're looking at john chapter 12 john chapter 12 i'm reading from verse 24 it says very late very late i say unto you except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die that's the process of germination it says it abides alone but if it die if you plant it and it falls to the ground it bringeth forth much fruit i see fruitful people there Number three, pray and purge. Pray and purge. You know, there's a way somebody who is at the top, there's a way they talk, there's a way they dress, there's a way they look, there's a way they interact, there's a way they behave, there's a way they control themselves, there's a way they comport themselves. Put yourself there because that's where you're going. I said that's where you're going if I add the increase I was waiting for how will I act how will I talk if there are things in your life that will not match that position will not match that increase you purge them you say come cross don't talk that way I won't talk that way 
and conquerors don't look that way i won't look that way conquerors they don't behave that way i won't behave that way there is a punching and you do, don't allow anybody to come and do it for you to cut this and cut this do it yourself you know that this is where i'm going and you're going to get there you pray and plan you pray and plant you pray and purge look at this in john chapter 15 i'm reading from verse 2 john chapter 15 verse 2 every plant in me that beareth no fruit he taketh away and every plant that beareth fruit he purges it that it may bring forth more fruit more fruit in your life more fruit in your family number four pray and pursue pray and pursue you know in life you have to understand that if you want something the success will not just fall on you like a ripe or poor fruit falling from the tree it's something you have a drive inside you you are a man with a goal a man with a destiny a man that is pursuing and sometimes you are even almost tired but you will not give up i said you'll not give up that thing you're looking for you must pursue you pray prayer is necessary you get god involved because he has promised and you're depending upon the promise of god but then you pray and you pursue look at judges chapter 8 judges chapter 8 your victory has come your success has come but you pray and you pursue i'm looking at judges chapter 8 verse 4 and gideon came to jordan and passed over he and the 300 men that were with him faint faint don't give up faint don't go back home faint don't say the end has come faint and yet pursuing yet pursuing yet pursuing you keep on pursuing god give you will give you the divine energy the divine power you are going to achieve yeah. over there the gallery where are you i said you are going to achieve yeah. you pray and you plan you pray and you plant you pray and you purge you pray and you pursue you pray and you press on you press on you press on have you heard about uh, these uh, people they was they were swimming it was a contest and you know this one got to the middle and he said i don't think i can make it and he dropped out another one came to almost the quarters of uh, you know the distance uh, and my air is getting out of me it's like i'm going to faint i'm feeling dizzy but there was this other one that said just one more stroke just one more stroke just one he was tired just one stroke just one stroke and he got to the finishing line i'm going to get to the finishing line i said i'm going to get to the finishing line that day comes when you appear tired but you said that's my goal that day comes when you appear fainting you said that's my goal that day comes when it appears that everything is upside down just one more stroke just one more day i will see you at the finishing line yeah. hey, look at look at philippians chapter 3 philippians chapter 3 in philippians chapter 3 i'm reading here from verse 13 and verse 14 philippians chapter 3 verse 13 verse 14 brethren i count not myself to have apprehended but this one thing i do do that one thing do that one assignment this one thing i do forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before verse 14 tell me verse 14 i press toward the mark of the price of the high calling of god in christ jesus i'm pressing on i said i'm pressing on i'm pressing on the upward way you will not be tired you will not be weary you're going to be an achiever you're going to be a success that increase the lord is going to give you in jesus name number one pray and 
plant number two pray and plant number three pray and perch number four pray and pursue number five pray and press on number six pray and pour yourself out pray and pour yourself out you know in this life it is service sacrificial service that is rewarded you want to get give you want possession pour yourself out help people touch lives lift people up help them pour yourself out look at second kings chapter four second kings chapter four and i'm reading from verse one second kings chapter four verse one it says in uh, verse one and there cried a certain woman of the of the wives of the sons of the prophets unto elisha saying the servant my husband is dead and thou knowest that thy servant did fear the lord and the creditors the creditors come to take unto him my two sons to be born men and elisha said unto her what shall i do for thee tell me what hast thou in the house you must have something you have a brain you have something you have eyes to see you have something you have faith in god you have something you have something in your heart that is saying life is not ending here i must still get to the place i'm getting to you have something i have something you have some education i have something you have some deposit i have something you have some foundation i have something you have salvation you have something you have the promises of god you have something and you have the almighty god backing you up and saying i created you i molded you i redeemed you i brought you into this life to get something done you have more than something you are going to succeed it says what has now in the house and he said that handmaid has not anything in the house save except a pot of oil then he said go borrow the vessels abroad of all thy neighbors empty vessels borrow not a few and when thou art come in thou shalt shut the door upon thee and upon thy sons and thou shalt and thou shalt tell me out aloud and thou shalt you must pour it out pour yourself out pour yourself out. keep on sweating helping people sweating lifting up people sweating pouring out your life your talent everything you've got to other people's lives and shall pour out into all those vessels and thou shalt set aside that which is full your life will be full so so she went from him and shut the door upon her and upon her sons and who brought the vessels to her and she poured out and i will pour out and i will pour out and she poured out and it came to pass when the vessels were full that she said unto her son bring me yet another vessel and he said unto her there is not a vessel more and the oil stage when there's no other empty vessel to pour into everything will stop but as long as there are people you can pour your life into a neighbor is there render a helping hand a neighbor is there go and visit them and, and just make people happy in life and contribute something you know, into somebody's life and keep pouring out and keep pouring out as you are pouring out heaven will be pouring upon you number seven pray and persevere pray and persevere this is not the age of getting tired so easily giving up so easily i cannot i cannot take a pen and look at your dictionary i don't mean the physical one your emotional dictionary and your life dictionary and your you know kind of subconscious dictionary and cancel out cannot i can i can i can 
I can do how many things? All things through Christ which strengtheneth me. He will strengthen you in Jesus' name. Pray and persevere. Don't give up. Don't give up. I will not give up. I said I will not give up. Genesis chapter 32. Genesis chapter 32. I'm reading from verse. I'm reading from verse 26. And he said, let me go for the day breakers. And he said, I will not let you go except that bless me. I came for blessing. I must get the blessing. I came for increase, I must get the increase. I came for healing, I must get the I will not let you go, except thou bless me. And the blessing of the Lord came upon him. And God is still the same. And Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. That blessing is now your turn. I said it's now your turn. Where are you? I said it's your turn. Why don't you get up tonight and say, Lord, I came for divine increase. I will not let you go. I will not let you go except you bless me. Except you bless me. The promise and the price. The promise and the price is available. It's available. The Lord is going to touch your life right now. Tell him, tell him, tell him. Which area do you want increase in your life? Blessing in your life. Increase of your righteousness increase of your health increase in the work of your hand increase in the program or the project you have tonight is the night tonight is the night let there be increase tonight increase tonight increase tonight increase your faith increase your faith don't give up increase your love love people love people increase that righteousness increase your strength they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength They'll mount up with wings as eagles. You will run, you'll not be weary, you'll walk, you will not faint. In Christian knowledge of the word of God, learn the promises. A promise a day keeps the problem away. A promise a day keeps the difficulties away. Tell the Lord, I know from tonight, there's going to be divine increase in my life. Tell the Lord, if there's anything to push out, anything to push away, anything to take away, which will not make you a conqueror, will not make you an overcomer, push it away. And say, Lord, now I am ready for divine increase. I am ready for definite increase in my life. I am ready for desirable increase. I'm ready for double increase. I'm ready for distributive increase. I'm ready for definite increase. It's coming. It's coming. Don't look back. Don't say, I don't think I can make it. Don't plant and uproot the following day. Have it today. Have it today. Have it today. I say, Lord, it's mine. Lord, it's mine. Lord, it is mine. And as you go out of this place tonight, you're going with that confidence. I will make it. I will make it. I will make it. Heaven is on your side. God is on your side. The Bible is on your side. The people of God are on your side. I will, I will, I will. Go out, go out, pray and press on. Pray and press on. Pray and press on. That divine increase is available. Anything going to hinder you, the Lord will cleanse away, take away. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the conquerors say amen. Let the achievers say amen. Increase in your life. Power in your life. Success in your life. That mountain, you will climb that mountain. 
raise up that hand father in jesus name I thank you for everyone here, every child, every, every boy, every girl, every man, every woman, every brother, every sister. Lord, I pray this will be the beginning of divine increase in every life in Jesus' name. Anything that stands in the way of anyone. I pray, Lord, the power of God from heaven will sweep it away in Jesus' name. Take all the hurdles away all the problems away all the challenges away and lord i pray that destiny that destination you have for everyone here give them the stress give them the vision give them the revelation give them the power they will get there in jesus name any hindrance on their way take it away hindrance of sickness take it away Hindrance of poverty, take it away. Hindrance of discouragement, take it away. Hindrance of powers of darkness, take it away. Hindrance of any yoke, take it away. Lord, I pray, touch everyone tonight. I pray, Lord, your promises will become yes and amen in every life. Strengthen them in the inner man. And brighten their vision spiritually. And Lord, I pray you will take them to that place where there's total, complete, overflowing, divine, increase in every life in Jesus' name. Joy in every heart. Healing for everyone. Deliverance for everyone. Total achievement for everyone. Victory for everyone. Divine increase. Desirable increase definite increase heavenly increase appropriate increase for everyone confirm it lord in every life i thank you because i know you have answered in jesus name i pray i got it i got it i'll see it in your life god bless you once a massive forest lying less than 10 kilometers north of the Atlantic Ocean, enslaved by same depravities that have plagued humankind globally. Strange diseases, defiling medical interventions, occultism in high dimensions, dishonesty, wickedness, and more to mention. But a single look. A look to the author and finisher signals the authority. It's a power shift. Power from on high upon your life. You've never seen anything like this before. The day when everything that is dead, dormant, dull in your life will rise up. July 28th to August 2nd, 2022, 1600 hours GMT daily and 0700 hours GMT Sunday worship service packaged on a global scale for all. Men, women, ministers and professionals, children, youths and young adults. A total package by the Kavena, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi at the GCK July edition live at Ikorudu, Lagos State, Nigeria. Poised to reveal total emancipation by the authority of Christ. The inspirational and international evangelist, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi, will be ministering along with Jeff Dio, our guest music minister. Coming to you live from Ikorodu, Lagos State, Southwest Nigeria. And broadcast to the world via satellite, social media, radio, and television. We are inviting the entire populace in and around Lagos. PFL Lagos is fully involved. And our men and women and youth have been charged, have been given the marching order to ensure that this thing is a huge success. We are praying, we are believing, we are putting the network and our resources into it. And we trust at the end of it all, millions of souls will be gladly brought into the kingdom of God. GCK, in the seventh month, globally packaged to perfect total emancipation by the authority of Jesus Christ. Get ready for total freedom this July. I'm going to grab you by the hand, drag you out of the valley, and I'm going to drag you to the mountain top. The Global Crusade with Kumui GCK Authority is coming.
medical interventions. Occultism in high dimension, wickedness, and more to mention. But a single look. The author and finisher signals the authority. It's a power shift. Come on high upon your life. You've never seen thing like this before the day when everything that is dead dormant door in your life will rise up july 28th to august 2nd 2022 1600 hours gmt daily and 0700 hours gmt sunday worship service packaged on a global scale for all men women ministers and professionals children youths and young adults a total package we at the GCK July edition, the state Nigeria. Thank you for another privilege of coming here. Down on Our Father, we are grateful unto you for this evening. We want to thank you very much for today's Bible study. Lord, be exalted in Jesus' name. We've come to you, Lord, to learn at your feet. We pray you teach us tonight. In and as we sing praises to you, O oh God, we pray that you God, praise the Lord, my soul praise the lord praise of jesus my soul lord, my soul praise the lord praise the lord oh yes my soul Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, my soul, my soul. Praise the Lord, I will sing unto a joyful song. I will praise his name. For the Lord is good. Sing with me unto the Lord a joyful song. I will praise his name. For the Lord is good. I will sing unto the Lord a new song. I will praise his name all over me. I will sing, I will clap for Jesus. Lord, I will praise his name. He is a joyful song and pray for the Lord is good. Complete, complete, complete in him. I am complete in him. Complete, complete, complete in him. Oh, yes, I am complete in him. Complete, complete, complete in him. I am complete in him. Complete, complete, complete in him. Oh, yes, I am complete in him. It's not by works of righteousness, but by his grace alone. It's not by works of righteousness, but by his grace alone. 
I'll say he's gone because I know and I'm sure he holds my fear. Our life is for the living just because he lives, because he lives. All fear is gone because I know my future. Our life is what I live in just because it is, because it lives. We can face tomorrow. Yes, Jesus lives. All fear is gone. And because we know we're sure, he holds our future. Our lives are what living because he lives. Our bank in Jesus, the storms of life are braved. Our bank in Jesus, I fear no winds or wave. Our bank in Jesus. For he has power to save, I've anchored in the rock of ages, oh yes. The storms of life are brief, oh, I've anchored. Oh, God, he has power to save. I've been caught in the rock of ages. It is well, it is well. It is well with my soul today. In the name of Jesus. Let me hear you sing it. Give it swell. In the name of Jesus, it is swell with our souls today, whether the devil likes it or not. Oh, deep I yet I pray. And I am every day. And why is a blessed Lord in thy precious holy word? Oh, deep. Yes, I pray. Yes, I pray. And higher every day. And wise, a blessed Lord, in thy precious holy word, oh, the Yes, I pray, yes, I pray, and high. Yeah, every day, take me higher. And wise, oh, blessed Lord, in thy precious holy word. I want to know you more. I want to know you more and more. I want to know you more. I want to know you more and more. Hold on. I want to know you more. I want to know you more and more. I want to know you more. I want to know you more and more know you more. I want to know you more and more. More and more, Lord. I want to know you more and more. Open. Oh, Lord. Open my eyes. Oh,
ready to obey. I am ready to obey. Open my eyes, Lord. To your word, Lord, open my eyes, oh Lord. Open my eyes, oh Lord. I am ready to obey. I am ready to obey. Praise his name. Glory in the highest, I will shout and sing. Standing on the promises of God. Standing on the promises that cannot fail. When the holy storms of doubt and fear are sailed. By the living word of God, I shall prevail. All in all, standing on the promises of God. Standing, standing. Standing on the promises of God, my Savior. Standing, standing. I am standing on the promises of God. Bible reading. But before we read, shall we just have a moment of prayer? Father, we are asking that you will open our eyes of understanding as we read your word today. We are asking that relevant passages that really speak to our present needs and problems, spiritually and physically and materially, you will impress upon our hearts. Be with us, enlighten us, instruct us, teach us as we read together now. In Jesus' name, I pray. 
We'll continue for the reading now. Genesis chapter 18. Genesis chapter 18. And the Lord appeared unto him in the plains of Mamre, and he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. And he lift up his eyes and looked, and lo, three men stood by him. And when he saw them, he ran to meet them from the tent door and bowed himself toward the ground and said, My Lord, if now I have found favor in thy sight, pass not away, I pray thee, from thy servant. Let a little water, I pray you, be fetched, and wash your feet, and rest yourselves under the tree. And I will fetch a morsel of bread, and comfort ye your hearts. After that ye shall pass on, for therefore are ye come to your servant. And they said, So do, as thou hast said. And Abraham hastened into the tent unto Sarah, and said, Make ready quickly three measures of fine meal, knead it, and make cakes upon the harp. And Abraham ran unto the herd, and fetched a calf tender and good, and gave it unto a young man, and he hasted to dress it. And he took butter and milk, and the calf which he had dressed, and set it before them, and he stood by them under the tree, and they did eat. And they said unto him, Where is Sarah thy wife? And he said, Behold, in the tent. And he said, I will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life. And lo, Sarah thy wife shall have a son. And Sarah heard it in the tent door, which was behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah were old and well stricken in age, and it ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women. Therefore Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I am waxed old, shall I have pleasure, my Lord being old also? And the Lord said unto Abraham, Wherefore did Sarah laugh, saying, Shall I of a surety bear a child which am old? Is anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed I will return unto thee according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. Then Sarah denied, saying, I laughed not, for she was afraid. And he said, Nay, but thou didst laugh. And the men rose up from thence and looked toward Sodom, and Abraham went with them to bring them on the way. And the Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham that thing which I do, seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation, and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him? For I know him, that he will command his children and his household after him, and they shall keep the way of the Lord to do justice and judgment, that the Lord may bring upon Abraham that which he hath spoken of him. And the Lord said, Because the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great, and because their sin is very grievous, I will go down now and see whether they have done altogether according to the cry of it which is come unto me. And if not, I will know. And the men turned their faces from thence and went toward Sodom. But Abraham stood yet before the Lord. And Abraham drew near and said, Wilt thou also destroy the righteous with the wicked? Peradventure there be fifty righteous within the city. Wilt thou also destroy and not spare the place for the fifty righteous that are therein? That be far from thee to do after this manner, to slay the righteous with the wicked, and that the righteous should be as the wicked, that be far from thee. Shall not the judge of all the earth do right? And the Lord said, If I find in Sodom fifty righteous within the city, then I will spare all the place for their sakes. And Abraham answered and said, Behold now, I have taken upon me to speak unto the Lord, which am but dust and ashes. Peradventure there shall lack five of the fifty righteous. Wilt thou destroy all the city for lack of five? And he said, If I find there forty and five, I will not destroy it. And he spake unto him yet again, and said, 
peradventure there shall be forty found there. And he said, I will not do it for forty's sake. And he said unto him, O oh, let not the Lord be angry, and I will speak. Peradventure there shall thirty be found there. And he said, I will not do it if I find thirty there. And he said, Behold now, I have taken upon me to speak unto the Lord. Peradventure there shall be twenty found there. And he said, I will not destroy it for twenty's sake. And he said, O oh, let not the Lord be angry, and I will speak yet but this once. Peradventure ten shall be found there. And he said, I will not destroy it for ten's sake. And the Lord went his way as soon as he had left communing with Abraham, and Abraham returned unto his place. You have just listened to the Bible reading, and we need to take whatever we have learned to the Lord in prayer. Will you all rise up, please? Talk to the Lord in prayer. You've seen a commandment, a warning, an example, an instruction to obey, a promise to claim. Pray for grace that you will do as you have learned in the word of God. In Jesus' name we pray.
as we now bring you Deeper Life Bible Church Choir Ministrations from nations across the world. Thank you. 